Hello, my name is Ian Schimenauer. I'm the Regional Crop Specialist with the Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture, Regional Services Branch, and Outlook Saskatchewan. Today our topic is going to be the proper timing of swathing canola. Timing is critical to ensure a quality product is removed from the field. If you were to swath too early, you will lose yield and increase green seed. Consequently, if you were to swath too late, you could end up with increased pod drop and canola pod shattering as you swath. The proper time to swath canola has changed over time with development of newer and better varieties. Canola breeders have greatly increased shatter resistance and increased the consistency of seed ripening. This means that the old swath timing guidelines are now out of date. By using these new guidelines and leaving the canola unswathed longer, yields can be increased by up to 8%. According to the Canola Council of Canada, the ideal time for swathing is at 60% seed color change on the main stem. This is different from the old recommendations of 30% seed color change. Color change does not mean that the seeds are 100% black. A brown seed, or even a green seed with a spot of brown, is considered color change. As you can see, canola ripens from the bottom up. To determine how ripe your crop is, start by opening the bottom pods to see how ripe the seeds are. Continue to work your way up the plant on the main stem. Research has shown that canola seeds will change color at a rate of about 3 to 5 percent per day at 25 degrees Celsius. Hotter, drier weather will make seed color change occur faster, and in cool, wet weather, seed color change will be slower. Canola fields often do not ripen evenly. To manage this, canola can be swathed in stages with each part of the field being harvested at the ideal time. Because this approach is occasionally not practical, it is best to swath when the highest yielding parts of the field are in the proper ripened stage. The outside color of a canola plant or the appearance of a canola field from the road is not a good indicator of how ripe your canola is, so checking the inside of the pods are necessary for a reliable assessment. Often a very ripe looking canola field can have very green seeds in the pods. Weather is also a big factor in the success of swathing canola. Cool damp days are ideal for canola swathing. It makes the plants less brittle, decreases shattering, and allows more seed color change to occur in the swath. Avoid swathing in hot dry weather. This will increase the green count in your canola. The best time to be swathing canola is on cool evenings, at night, and in the early morning. Rainy weather is also an excellent time to be swathing canola. A swath roller is recommended to push the swaths into the stubble and prevent wind damage. It should be adjusted to not apply too much pressure so that airflow can condition the canola more rapidly. For more information on swath timing and other agronomic topics, please visit our website at agriculture.gov.sk.ca. This has been Ian Schimauer with the Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture.